Good day, fellow Neverwinter players. If you find any of the information presented in this video useful, or if you have critiques, please hit me up on Twitch. That's www.twitch.tv slash lord underscore willow underscore. Today, I will be providing some Mod 17 highlights as seen on the week one release of M17 on the preview server. The M17 module is titled Uprising and is based on the ages-old conflict between Gith factions and the Illithid. I'm going to start off with the shiny stuff first. With M17, we are getting a new player race called the Gith. The racial stats for the Gith are plus two dex, plus two strength, or plus two intelligence. They regenerate stamina 2% faster and have 1500 combat advantage. The new race will be available to VIP members for the first two weeks of M17, followed by a free to everyone phase that lasts for another two weeks. After those four weeks, you will need to spend Zen to access the race. Much of what we will see in M17 is repurposed and slightly altered versions of much of what we saw in M16. This includes a new campaign featuring a new planes-based sort of alternate reality of Undermountain, if you will, as well as a new hub location called Starduck, which fans of D&D may recognize from some Spelljammer adventures. Hmm... Maybe we have some Spelljammer coming our way in a future mod. We can hope. We also have new Master Expeditions called Warden Master Expeditions, featuring the same Master Expedition maps as M16, with some, you know, different enemies. These allow M17 to reuse all those new zones created for M16, but with new enemies and challenges, allowing the dev team to hopefully focus on play quality items. And last but not least for new content, we have a new 10-person trial coming to the game called Tower of the Mad Mage. Tower of the Mad Mage is a beast of a trial aimed directly at the creme de la creme, the most elite players in the game, featuring a minimum item level for entry at 24,000 and enemy stat ratings of 30,000. This means stats like armor pen, accuracy, defense, and crit strike will all now have new cap values at 80,000 and combat advantage will cap out at 130,000. Tower of the Mad Mage also offers a full gamut of unforgiving mechanics that will make party coordination and communication mandatory for success. Like all new modules, we will also have new PvE equipment available. As seen in the video uh, at, with some samples, these include a new weapon set, neck belt artifact set, rings, shirt and pants, as well as a plethora of new companion equipment. Companion equipment will be obtained from the new Warden Master Expeditions, while most of the other items will primarily be obtained from the new Tower of the Mad Mage trial. But wait, there's more! For all you player versus player fans, we are finally getting some developer investment for PvP in the form of a new domination map. New PvP gear that has several paths to acquisition. This gear has some item bonuses aimed at easing some of the worst part of the Neverwinter PvP experience. To go along with these, we will also be getting a new seasonal reward system that will allow those that wished to only PvP a path towards player progression outside of PvE content. Hopefully this helps bring back some of the fun into PvP that has been missing since Mod 3. I know I'm excited for Mod 17, and I am going to continue to watch and test and preview for more changes in the coming weeks. If you found any of the information presented in this video useful, or if you have questions, 
or critiques, please hit me up on Twitch. That's a www.twitch.tv slash Lord underscore Willow underscore. Thank you.